So one of the things that I am doing is I'm trying to tidy up the suspension. I'm not going for a concourse look and I don't want to go for a customised look either, but uh, a little bit of gloss paint um, underneath some of the newer parts and just make it so that when somebody is working on that car, it's going to be a little bit easier and cleaner to do the job. And also when it goes up for its MOT, it's evident of the work that's actually been done on the car. So we're going to have less poking around and it's going to make a whole, my whole ownership experience and, um, and maintenance uh, experience an awful lot better moving forward. To that end, I've got a set of brake calipers, which I'm going to paint red. Um, it's only a 1.4, but hey, you know, why not? Uh, everybody else does it, so why not? Um, so what I'm going to show you is what I've got and, and show you a little bit of the process that we're actually going to go through to, to get that done. So I've managed to acquire a set of second-hand brake calipers because the ones on mine are completely shot. Um, first thing that we need to do is obviously is to strip this down, take the pads out, and then we're going to give it a machine down with a wire wheel and some sandpaper, uh, probably with something like this, um, or something on a drill, a similar sort of thing. And what we should end up with is one that I've actually prepared a little bit earlier, it's halfway through. Uh, this is now uh, back to the cast metal on here, and obviously you can take it as far as you want, really. But um, I've left the um, the pipe back on because there is a certain amount of fluid actually inside. I don't want to drain all of that. Um, but we've got it all pretty much cleaned up the way that we want to go. Um, just a little bit more to do, and then we're going to give it a coat of primer and then a, a coat of top coat. So we'll see you at the primer stage. So what we've got, we've got a couple of nicely cleaned up caliper assemblies and the equipment now to start to paint. So I'll give it a light coat of etch primer I just basically pull the paint onto the, onto the metal itself. The red brake caliper um, paint and some panel wipe. Um, I use some masking tape as well to mask up things like the nipples and uh, places where we don't want to get uh, any paint like on the rubbers and bits and pieces like that. We'll do our best to mask all that up and then uh, you can give it a coat of primer. So we've got a light coating of uh, primer on here, just basically something for the paint to actually adhere to. And it also gives us the opportunity before the red goes on to put up anything that we're not quite happy with. There's a little bit of something here I'm perhaps not happy with. We can just go around and just, just tidy things up before we put the gloss on. So um, we'll see we've got some red paint on. So there we are, we've got uh, two brake calipers now with some uh, high gloss red brake caliper paint on. Uh, I've touched in the, um, the, the retaining bolts with some zinc paint um, and, and demasked the rubbers on it. And I think really for, for a little course of that's quite a tiny bit of kit with a new set of discs on there, that's going to complement this very well. Right, so there we are, we've got the... Um, New calipers actually on, new discs, pads, all fitted, all mated up to the cleaned up suspension, and we're all ready to go. So, from a uh, from from a repair point of view, uh, we can just summarise where we've got to uh, with pickle. Basically, the welding front and back's been done, left and right uh, on the sill areas, uh, door returns have been done. Chassis members have been welded up. Um, we've cleaned up the front panel on the car. We fitted new brakes to the front and the back. Uh, new discs, new pads. Um, effectively giving it a, a full makeover as far as the brakes are concerned. The only thing left to do is to bleed the brakes. And I, at the minute I'm a man on my own, so I'm going to be waiting for some help with that. Um, moving forward, to give you some idea of some of the things that we're going to be doing, I'm going to be tackling uh, with a colleague of mine doing a timing belt on the car, uh, carrying out service on a vehicle 1400. Um, that'll be done. And then basically uh, we'll be looking at things that are required to get the car through an MOT. So from a user point of view, things that you should be looking at, things you should be considering, things you can do to increase your opportunity or chance to actually get a pass on your MOT. So that's moving forward into July and August. Um, we're not far away now from getting an MOT on the car, I don't think. I'm just waiting on some additional help 
to actually cross that line. So uh, let's see what happens, shall we? <laughs> 